big wave guy you know it 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 guy What's good to the channel, Big Wave Guy, made this your boy Ted. Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and follow me on IG at Big Wave Guy so y'all can send me any videos y'all want me to react to. All right, man, look like Boosie ain't the only one on the boy Yay head, man. God damn, why they want to keep coming for Yay, man? All he trying to do is fight for his kids, become a giant in the fashion industry, make more billions. Why everybody gotta keep coming for Ye? Oh, why? Wow, I know why. Ye be doing some crazy stuff, man. We just talked about Ye the other day wearing that White Lives Matter shirt. You feel me? I seen a couple of comments, man. Y'all are so hypocritical and all this. What do you mean, y'all? Black people? Mm, that's the problem, man. Y'all part of the problem, man. Nobody's talking about racism and stuff, man. We just saying Ye. And I've been seeing a lot of people say this, so I'm not making this up. They saying Ye is out here thirsty for the acceptance of white people, man. Think about that. They say Ye is out here chasing validation from the white community, you feel me? And that's the thing. It's not about being hypocritical or being racist. It's like when it's blatantly obvious in your face, you know what I'm saying? It's something to talk about. And we talking about him chasing validation from the white community when bro, like you validated already, you feel me? It's like Ye be going the extra mile to kind of like put himself on the opposite side of the spectrum. But that's neither here nor there, man. Cause one of Kanye, oh, employees and I guess friends, somebody that used to be in this circle he actually a CEO and designer himself, you feel me? And he's actually the creative director of Supreme. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. He going off on Ye, man. Dude named Tremaine Emery or something like that. Now he is going off on Ye because Ye made a post and basically said that the CEO of basically Louis Vuitton or whatever, or the holding company that owns Louis Vuitton, Moet and Hennessy, killed Virgil because in the post he said, man, so-and-so killed my best friend. Now we know Virgil died from cancer, you feel me? And it was kind of shocking to the community because it seemed like it came out of nowhere, but I'm pretty sure his close friends and family, they knew about what was happening, man. But old boy Tremaine Emery is on Kanye head because he is saying, man, I'm tired of you using Virgil name on your goddamn uh, press runs, you feel me? Your little media press runs and your slideshows on Instagram. He had enough of it, dog. And I ain't gonna lie, man. Ye is a bit confusing, you feel me? Ye is a bit confusing to understand, so we ain't about to just break down his whole damn personality on this video, because it's too much, you feel me? But he do be doing too much at times, you feel me? A lot of times, it be called for. A lot of times, it be right. Like, when it come to his kids and things like that, I feel like he has a right to step up and uh, fight for his rights, you know what I'm saying? Fight for his kids, fight for his family back. But then... You know, at the same time, man, when he get to calling out all his colleagues and his peers that he be directly working with, and you know what I'm saying, blasting text messages that's personal, that's when it becomes a little too much, you feel me? And he do like to, like, I'll just say this, you can't be pinning somebody death on somebody that you not agreeing with, you feel me? Especially when your homeboy or whoever this dude used to work for you at Yeezy came out and said that you knew Virgil had cancer and you was riding them on them text messages, you feel me? Wrote them in the text messages while you willingly knew he had cancer, which means Ye was probably on goddamn text messages going off on Virgil, you feel me? Not to mention the dude said that Ye had just said that Virgil was like trash, basically, you feel me? Now we know Ye is egotistical and he feels like he's one of the best designers and biggest brands in the world. So when he probably see somebody else get the job that he wanted or felt like he deserved, you know, he could probably get a little jealous. You feel me? Now he's a billionaire and all that granted. So what is there to be jealous about? That's exactly the question. You feel me? But it's an ego thing. If you don't have a big ego, then you will never understand. It ain't about the money. It's about everything else. It's about the respect. It's about the power. It's about wanting to be known as the goat. You feel me? A motherfucker could be broke and be the goat and be happy with that. Trust me. I guarantee you, like. But, yeah, man, he on, he on yay goddamn head right now. And he ain't letting up. He just like, man, stop using Virgil's name, man. You ain't even fuck with Virgil like that. Whenever Virgil was on this earth, 
and you knew he had cancer, your ass was getting on, getting on his ass in the text messages, just making his stress levels way worse. And I kind of believe that because y'all remember on that jam, on, on that uh, drink champs interview with Kanye when he was like he put all his basically. He put a whole bunch of rich ass motherfuckers in a, in a group message and text him and said, I'm richer than all y'all combined. You feel me? This is a group message with Kim and Drake and Travis Scott and all kind of shit and told him that. So, and we see Kanye's patterns on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He can be like a bit of a cyber bully. You feel me? And that's kind of pe how people are starting to paint him. And, and you know, whenever, whenever your own friends are starting to look at you sideways and, people who you put on starting to look at you sideways man that means shit getting bad yay i just want yay to chill out man i ain't gonna lie i want yay to get back to the music you feel me i want yay to get back to that good ass music man when i first heard my twisted dark fantasy i wanted that shit for my birthday you feel me that shit was like a classic record you feel me i want yay to get back to the music we already know you conquering the industry man but look Everything take time. You you can't build Rome in one day. You feel me? You can't build Rome in one day, yeah. And that's basically what he be trying to do. And you can't be trying to take down whole industries, but at the same time, you sending mixed signals the whole time, man. And the people that's supposed to be riding with you on your side is pretty much getting fed up with you and your bullshit. So I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, man. It's kind of crazy, man. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. This big wave got made. This is your boy Ted. Till next time, we out of here. I got new problems. So much clothes, I need two closets. This weed I got is too exotic. I turned a diamond to a down. They like, goddamn, you done blew it without me. They like, how the fuck did you do it without me? I'm the real deal. You a carpet copy. I just switched styles and I don't know a stylist. I'm a fucking god, big wave guy. And I got a goddess. We gon' both blow like it's kamikaze. Bitch, bow down like it's Ramakrishna.